What's up everyone? It's Minimalist Monday in Super Auto Pets and we're here in the golden pack because I think it's one of the easier packs that you can get minimalist runs going and I wanted to do something that doesn't actually involve the Cobra. Usually for most minimalist challenges in the golden pack you just take the Cobra because if you manage to get it to level 350 then it's a 30 damage snipe and that is very easy to minimalist win with. But here we're actually going to be going for the Infigure Sniper, which is going to be the Grizzly. Grizzly, in case you don't know the ability, basically for every 5 attacks that happen throughout the fight, the Grizzly is going to snipe uh, 6 damage 2 times to 2 different enemies, so it's not super powerful as you can probably tell. But I think we can make it work, especially with a start like this one when we get a Babusi. Babusi, unfortunately, in order for it to function, we need to take a tier 2 unit into the team right here. So I choose to take this Hercules Beetle. So now the Babusi has something to stat up. And very luckily, we also leveled into a Weasel, which not only is it going to provide some extra gold for us, but also on turns 5 and 6, the Babusi will have yet another target to hit. Of course, I'm not really planning on keeping either of these units until the end of the game, but I think at least for the beginning, it's going to be pretty nice for us to have them online, as the Hercules Beetle is getting 6, 9 stats on turn 4, which I think is very good. Here we can see that it's actually going to help out majorly in 2 for one trading the front line, but unfortunately they have a relatively strong African Penguin at the back, so we actually end up losing. Here I was thinking about the Falcon for a second, but if we imagine a build with the Grizzly, I think a Slug is going to be way better for us because Slug represents at least 3 attacks all by itself. And uh, if we want at least 5 attacks in order to trigger the ability, we can just do like uh, Grizzly plus Double Slug and that will be the minimalist build complete. But I also did want some variety, so we won't be doing double slug, instead we will be looking for a better unit in the late game. Here we end up losing once again. A horrible start, honestly, like, we have picked up some very good units as well, but it's just been super unlucky in the matchmaking department. Whatever the case though, uh, we are going to scale up so much that I think we are not realistically going to lose anymore even against this team that has multiple fix, so they are going Omega Tempo. But here we go, we finally get a win, only 9 more to go. And here I have preserved a level up and it is into a Beluga. So Beluga is yet another one of those units which represents a lot of attacks, especially if we can put something very annoying inside of it like yet another slug. But I think instead of a slug, I'm just going to try to go for a wolf because uh, that is one more attack and also the wolf I think represents more damage as a whole. So we're just going to try to level up the slug if we can manage to secure a level up for the next turn in order to get the grizzly immediately, I think we'll be very happy. Here I was thinking about the avocados for a second, but I think it's better that we just throw for the levels and thankfully we find double level up right here, which uh, I guess we're going to take one of them on this turn because it is extra stats, but this work we are going to um, keep for the next turn and I think we're going to be very happy with the results. Here hopefully we don't lose. Part of the reason I took the immediate stats from the Babusi on this turn is because I really did not want to lose and I think actually the stats did make a difference right there. But yeah, let's take the level and it is the Grizzly that we were looking for. So we're probably going to sell the Hercules Beetle for it. I really want to keep the Babusi still because it's going to be buffing up the Beluga which is going to be on the final team. And yeah, I'm placing this slug plus the beluga at the front because they are going to absorb the biggest amount of attack buffs. And then we're going to buy sell a bunch. We did get lucky with the cockatoo getting to buff the slug instead of the weasel, which I think is way better for us. And yeah, we do find also the wolf in the shop, so I think I should freeze it in case I don't have any blindness going on. Let's take a look. 
I'm about to end my turn and I guess I will misplay, but at the very last second I actually do see it, so I'm kind of happy with myself. So yeah, I think we have a very strong build going on right here. Even though the Beluga doesn't have anything inside it, we still have enough firepower to make the Grizzly get its trigger off. And now with the Wolf inside of the Beluga as well, I think we'll have a great time. So yeah, um, what are we looking for at this point? I don't really know, honestly, like, we only want scaling, maybe the Wizen can go in favor of a Bird of Paradise on the next turn, but um, I'm thinking about selling it even now for the Blue Ring Toctopus, which I guess I will end up doing because there's also a Cockatoo in the shop. In the long term it is helping us out to sell the weasel immediately because we can start by selling cockatoos as well without the risk of them hitting the weasels. So let's see if we have nerfed ourselves enough that we can lose and I don't think we have honestly. Just look at this, pretty easy victory right there over triple babusi so we're super happy. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to stash some gold into the next turn and hopefully we get to find a bird of paradise that can scale us up. Here I also pick up an oyster because it's one free gold, uh, another one and I'm also taking a potato onto the grizzly in case it gets sniped. I'm also going to start leveling the grizzly which I guess could be considered a misplay. Like, is it a question of you want more stats or you want uh, better abilities in fight? And uh, I guess we would have been rewarded if it, we had waited for the chocolate because we would have had a level 2 bird of paradise immediately. But I think having the chocolate on the grizzly is also not a bad idea. Here we're going to end up winning, which is very nice. We can't really afford to lose. And here I'm going to sell the Babusi for the Bird of Paradise because I don't really want it absorbing any buffs. I am getting very lucky with multiple avocados and I do end up by selling one pet because it did guarantee a trigger from the Bird of Paradise. On the next turn if we get lucky and find the chocolate for either the Grizzly or the Bob I think we'll be super happy. Here we get sniped which is kinda sad. But actually, it's still not good enough for them to defeat us. So we end up claiming yet another victory, perhaps a little bit undeserved. Peter Brett, I'm not really interested in because uh, I think the Durance are going to be better because they reduce the max HP of the opponent. And therefore, the Grizzly can do a better job sniping some units off. Um, maybe at this point I could even consider putting the uh, durian on the grizzly itself, but I still like the potato quite a bit in case we go up against a very strong cobra so that we don't get sniped immediately. Here we see a poison dart frog team which is kind of similar to the cobra in essence and we can see the potato absorbing two very chunky snipes and because of that I think we'll end up winning. So we're on the track to victory right here, we only have two more trophies left to go. We're going to focus on getting the level up for the Grizzly because at level 3 it is 18 damage. Yeah, 18 damage to two different pets, so 36 damage in total, which is absolutely insane to think about. Here we're not even going to need the snipe, but we get it regardless and we win. And this is going to be the final turn. We're going to try to absorb as many stats from the Bird of Paradise as possible before selling it off and completing the Minimalist build, but I think it turned out pretty well. The Beluga could have been a higher level, but as you saw, we didn't get super lucky in the shop as we find only the second Beluga on this turn. But yeah, this will complete the build and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I really hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time. Take care.